What's going on everybody, it's Jay Coffee Talk. Thanks again for tuning in. As always, hit the like, subscribe, notification bell, help this channel grow, and make sure to get up in the comments as always. It's all about hearing your guys' thoughts, taking opinions on the videos and the topics. So what was that? You saw that footage? Um, we can't even really say this was a fight. I guess we could call it an altercation or an incident. Although, um, you know, Enzo was claiming that he did put hands on, on this Joey Janela dude. He, he says he slapped him off the rip. Um, I don't really know what's going on with these two, you know, being the fact that it's wrestlers, uh, I guess with Kat, or I'm sorry, Enzo will have to say former wrestler, you know, people are going to be skeptical that it was a work and, you know, and uh, for people not familiar with wrestling terms a work means that it was staged you know that this was a, a publicity stunt not real but they're both claiming you know that this was real that they really did get get into it now as i said i'm not familiar with joey janela i know he signed to aew which is you know a newer wrestling promotion who you know is making big moves as of lately signed a deal you know is on cable and is competing with the wwe for all those wrestling fans out there i'm gonna put a link in the description to this uh video to my secondary channel the coffee talk podcast channel where i'm um, you know it just so happens coincidentally that you know this story breaks i am going to be doing a lot more wrestling content i'll have a video up on there uh, later today you know talking about raw from earlier this week so go to like and subscribe over there but you know um this dude probably just was popped at the concert and you know went up to enzo and enzo is known for being kind of an egomaniac so you know it it probably didn't take much for him to say to the, you know between the two of these dudes to to get in some kind of argument drunk at a concert or whatever but what do you guys think of enzo and for those if you you know who aren't wrestling fans and you know come to my channel and you see that i cover a lot of hip-hop news enzo might look familiar to you because you might have seen him with 50 cent you might have seen him with takashi 69 he's a pro wrestler who didn't really have a wrestling background he's a i guess we we'll call him a jersey shore type dude he's from new jersey he was a dj um you know and basically always wanted to get into the entertainment industry and you know he got his foot in the door in wrestling not because of his wrestling abilities because his abilities on the mic you know and to put on a good show and just kind of act how he acts be do him be himself but in the height of his success with wwe when he was on you know on the monday night raw brand he had the cruiserweight title he was getting a decent amount of TV, television time monday night raw was doing a 1000th episode like an anniversary show so it was a big deal you know what i mean they were having a lot of stars over the years um you know be on that show and everything and right before that show came out enzo was fired because there was a woman who had came forward and said that he raped her i you know i don't believe it to be true at all i've done a lot of research on that story um and you know no f charges were ever filed or anything like that um, I don't you know it, it hurt his career though he lost his job and he disappeared for a while and then when he came back is when we saw him with 6 9 and 50 cent and everything like that and you know he's now pursuing a lane in the music industry he also recently did a no jumper episode if you guys might have caught him on there but I don't know you know a lot of wrestlers never really like this dude if you hear a lot of wrestlers talk about him you know um he's known to be kind of loud mouth and, and they didn't as i said he didn't really have a solid wrestling background so a lot of guys didn't respect him because of that also but um anyways they both got on twitter and started tweeting about it you know and um, i'm gonna read you some of the tweets here they might not be in the exact correct order but enzo said not a safe environment for a fight needless to say i didn't start the fight and i was smart enough not to have one with the drunken fool slash vagina 
And then he said, shout out Angela, my homegirl screaming like a voice of reason to a very reasonable man. And then he tagged the Janela dude and said, D riding ain't a form of transportation. And then um, Enzo put clout chasing in public to ultimately look like a cat, we'll say. <laughs> Must feel terrible. You're not a good human. People are out to enjoy their night and you cause a scene and run while I'm engage engaging with friends and fans. Your mother should be proud. And then he said, where was that energy at? We ain't friends. Don't introduce yourself to me, F-boy. I thought you were a fan. The second I realized it was you, I slapped you, bitch ass, hands down, and walked away. A a walked at you with my hands up. Yeah, F and ran backwards and told my homie to film it. Soft is F. I'm glad you introduced yourself because I couldn't pick you out of a lineup. You don't want no smoke. And now I know it. There's only two things that smell like fish. One's fish and the other is straight. Let's see. <laughs> and then the Janela guy responded and said, I will have no chance to wrestle or fight Enzo with my exclusivity starting in October. But I saw it to introduce myself. That's all. And he said, not a work. As you guys remember, I said, when they're saying work, they mean stage or scripted. He's saying not to work. So I saw the dude and walked up and said, hi, I'm Joey Janela at the Blink 182 show. And we proceeded to have, I'm not Lennox Lewis in parentheses, to have the shittiest fist fight of the year. I'm not a pussy, but we had fun. And um, Enzo replied to that and said, boy, we didn't have the shittiest fist fight of the year. I slapped your effing, I slapped your effing hands down and walked at you with mine up and you walked away and let me know all that issue talk is a work, which is fine if I were a wrestler. So I don't know. It's kind of strange. You know, I don't know exactly what happened between these two dudes, but it is what it is. Um, the Janela dude seems kind of like you know maybe he was clout chasing i don't know i kind of hate that term because everyone is clout chasing at the end of the day for the most part everyone who's trying to make it is trying to get themselves noticed but um i don't know not much not much really here as far as in terms of a fight but um tap in the comments let me know what you guys thought about this whole situation let me know what you guys think about enzo as far as his music all the wrestling fans the wrestling fans tap in and let me know what you guys think on this one now as far as the music too enzo just was on power 105 the other day i'm gonna post his freestyle that he spit on my uh on my instagram so if you ain't following me on instagram give me a follow it's at j coffee talk underscore baymac b-a-y-m-a-a-c and i'm also on twitter at j coffee talk so thanks for tuning in y'all Tapping in the comments, as I said, that's what my channel is all about. Hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell if you didn't in the beginning of the video. Thanks for watching. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace.